Okay, let's take a look at Jasmine coin update for today. Well, we're trading at uh, 0 0.2055. We're up 2.44% for the day. The market cap $271 million. And the volume in the past 24 hours has dropped by 29%. We are now trading at 18, around $18 million. Not too shabby considering um, how things are going with Jasmine. So if you've been around, you know, Jasmine is still considerably up and we'll go to the chart soon to show you where we are and we do some analysis and some predictions. So, um, you know, Jasmine is 172 according to coin market cap on the crypto ladder. Let's take a look at the overall market. The market cap for crypto has dropped by 5%. We are now at $1.67 trillion and the volume in the past 24 hours has slightly decreased by 2.32%. And now we are trading at $100 billion right now, which is not too shabby. And Bitcoin's dominance continues to fall. It's at 50.1% now. So point, just 0.2% and uh, possibly Bitcoin dominance will be overtaken by the altcoins so talking of altcoins let's check is it altcoin season yet yep we are officially in the altcoin season remember above 75 is altcoin season below 25 or uh, from 25 and below is bitcoin season from 75 and above is altcoin season so we are technically officially we've just entered altcoin season that's why especially bitcoin's dominance has decreased significantly and just 0.2 percent it would completely be overhauled anyway back to just me what does this mean taking a look at the chart you can tell well things are a little bit slow just me is a little bit uh we've had this pullback but uh we are lucky enough to form to have formed this higher low if you check there was uh, a higher low here and now here so possibly when we had this, uh, I'll say from the 10th of November to the 1st of December, we had a little bit of uh, consolidation there. And it seems the same thing is happening here. And once we actually cleared that consolidation, we went on the bottom of this consolidation year and we went as high as 55%. So if we were to make another 55%, I'm expecting, let's go to the bottom right here of this. I'm expecting... Um, us to go back to to test 80 0 0.2080 so that's where next to just slightly break above the 75 uh resistance which tells you that uh if we somehow close above that level above 75 we are gearing up uh, in the red zone which is great because uh especially consolidating in this red zone that's 37 percent difference you can be making a lot of money just uh trading or investing in this zone but coming back to uh, this zone we've established support right here at 52 technically around 52 it's it's usually a region right it's not like exact number but around i'll say between 50 and 52 is support and it's a solid support and it's got uh historical significance sitting above this resistance we had a while back and uh yeah, if we succeed to break, there will be a slight resistance right there around 58. We succeed to break down. Oh, then the, I think that we'll have uh, some very, very interesting runs. The blue zone, which is 30%, 30%, it's not too shabby. And right now, uh, considering that we are bullish, I think we are so far 36% away to be making uh, some very good money because... Uh, Everything that goes up must come down. Everything that goes down must come up. We've had this significant pullback for Jasmine coin. So I think now is the time to actually go ahead and pump and find and uh, really deliver that another higher low and some new heights. So um, anyway, uh, I'd like to know your thoughts for Jasmine. What do you think about Jasmine? What will it do? Will it succeed to get to 80? 0 0.20 is 80. That is... <laughs> You have to smash the 75 level resistance. So just uh, let me know in the comment section below and uh, let's go to the next one. All right, on to internet computers, ICP latest updates. Well, 
uh we are trading right now at 13 dollars 20 cent and now we are up 3.9 or oh, 4 percent we just jumped to 4 percent in the past 24 hours the market cap just i'll just say six billion dollar we are just there volume 280 million dollars traded in the past 24 hours icp is doing good all the metrics is green and solid huge numbers and you must know that we are number 17 according to coin market cap so what's cooking what's going on with icp we'll be taking a look at some chart analysis and predictions for january and the year and uh, some news from twitter in fact let's just start from twitter and see if there's any latest so this is definitive um as of six hours ago experience the fusion of state-of-art blockchain technology with uh, nostalgia of 90s classic computing dive into the world of windows 98 windows 98 and explore the retro futuristic journey okay internet of internet computer is really doing some great stuff okay it's in january yesterday meet uh at jan kim kemenish at the uh, web3 hub the four by cv labs and uh, cvc okay lots of stuff going on webinars and stuff like that i'll check out this webinar and i'll bring you I'll just give a, a quick breakdown on that to tell you what went on there. But it seems uh, that's it. The rest we covered the previous day. But there is this developer grant, if you didn't know. 2024 is starting with a bang. Great news. Projects on board in, uh, on ICP. Check out the latest guarantees and innovators in the ecosystem. That's great. Things are happening. So that's why uh, I think Internet Computers ICP is very, very solid right now i wouldn't be i'm not surprised about that so the general health of the market uh crypto bubble let's check yeah you can just gauge right it's a mixed bag some some greens some reds but a couple of large greens so the overall health of the market is i'll say it's just flat for today and bitcoin is at 42,900. we've ticked up a little bit today 1.2 percent today and uh, yeah, things are, are heading in the right direction. But you must note that uh, the overall market cap for cryptos has dropped by 5% to $1.68 trillion. So let's check the charts for internet computers and do some analysis. Yeah, internet computer is very solid now. Consolidating and range, range uh, is, is in the range now it's range trade if you are into range trading you you will be making some good money right now let's just assume our low is around 11.78 11.78 and the high is uh 14.17 that's a 20 percent gap i mean we may go higher and lower but uh, just trading that range it's gone on for some time now since i'll say the 31st of december since this year began that's some good money on the table if you knew what you were doing, you would have been making some money following those support and resistance lines. So I, I encourage that uh, leverage is not good for trading because, I mean, with leverage is difficult to dollar cost average unless you have unlimited amount of money. I mean, but without leverage, you can always dollar cost average and you still play this range trade. Even if it were to go against you, you still have the opportunity to dollar cost average to bring down your average buying position. So internet computer icp is doing good everything looks very bullish and i do think that by the end of the the month we are heading to test 16 again yeah we are not far from that we are just uh, i'll say roughly about 20 percent from from now on but i think we'll even go higher we might flat a little bit with 22 before the month ends before we come back down Okay, so if we were to go to 22, that's like 66%. So, which is good because uh, I know this Bitcoin ETF thingy that has been approved has not been priced in into the market yet. I don't know what investors are waiting, but it, it seems everyone is, is, is trying to, to gauge the market and see. And uh, it's like a game of chicken. Anyway, but uh, that's why I see ICP by the end of the month, 66% up to 22 um just 
drop your thoughts in the comment section below and tell me what you think icp will do by the end of the month oh and for the year end of the year let's go to the weekly and broaden the chart so you give this um you can tell we are up and up yep there was this slight resistance that will come up around uh 13.6 we actually close a number of times so um on the broader scheme of things i think that we are heading by the end of the year if this trend continues there will be some pullbacks but i see us getting to 31 which is not shabby at all that's one is not shabby at all. that's the main i'll say resistance according to the chart and fundamentally speaking yeah it makes much sense that's 147 percent up so um yeah just let me know your thoughts for icp below and uh let's move to the next one all right on to pepe coin updates where are we we are flat today and we are trading at zero point five zeros one two three eight so what's going on with pepe we are right now just still above half a billion dollar 520 million dollars and the volume in the past 24 hours has decreased by 39 percent to 66.8 million dollars not shabby no lots of uh considering this is sunday that's a lots of money exchanging hands in uh in pepe so um today we'll do some analysis and check out some news and latest stuff and uh, let's go to twitter anyway that's where i get the latest on pepe um so what's up with pepe right now what have they tweeted oh the last tweeted on the 9th of january i covered all of this already but uh i'll look for another way to get the latest for pepe but so far we'll just go and find out or we'll just go and do some analysis and uh, just read from the chat what we think is going on but remember one of the news is that uh, the bitcoin uh, spot etf has been approved so as a good thing and it's to my personal opinion it's not yet been priced in in the market so i expect end of january to february to have a wild wild ride um let's see if there's any news i usually check four hours ago pp price analysis can pp go back to okay new solana meme coin upstairs surpasses lucky oh um so nothing related to pp uh, well, anyway I, I think maybe they're trying to say oh maybe it will come past pepe now pepe is the fourth largest meme coin behind doge uh shiba inu and bonk then pepe so um let's go to the chart all right not too shabby not too shabby the chart looks all right this is the daily chart and uh pepe is not doing bad uh, we've been in uh consolidation well slightly trending down but the over overall i think we are trending up because it's some higher low year higher low year so this was just short term trending down long term we are still very very bullish with pepe so can you imagine if we were to break this resistance overall in the long term right here around i'll say 16 to 16.5 if we break down if we break that then i think that we will be heading to test around uh, 28 and so far we are about let's find out 126 percent away from that so in the long term we are to go to 28 if we succeed to break the resistance at uh, around 16 to 16.5 but uh yeah and for me the support is really solid right here at uh, 10 we will not add additional zero psychologically and uh, technically i think 10 will hold if we were to go south and uh yeah that's for the long term and in the short term well it seems we are forming some lower highs but i think we will the stop is still at 10. Well, i think the support is very very solid if we continue to go down and uh, we come to 10 so far i think we are about 19 percent away from that which is not too bad if you check on the upside even if locally uh in the near term we are to go to 16 16.2 that's 30 percent pump which is not too bad it's almost doubled but i think we'll go higher but for the short term yeah it's worth taking the risks if you don't use leverage then you dollar cost average in that 20 percent before we get to 10 then you i think you'll be in a position to ride the wave up to 
around 16 to 16.5 which will give you 30 to about 33 percent up so uh yeah that's it for pp i would like to know your thoughts on these short-term and long-term predictions and uh i'll catch you in the next one cheers